Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that by far, one of the major characters that a lot of fans around the world are looking forward to the most is, of course, no other than the Jedi Master himself, Luke Skywalker, that will be portrayed by Mark Hamill once more in this story. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So, what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that we do know that there are going to be a lot of revelations that will be connected to the character of Luke and Darth Sidious, as well as other characters out there like Rey and Kylo Ren, that's going to make us view the eight Star Wars movies in a different light. And to me, that's both exciting and somewhat worrisome. It really is, because it could either go a good way or a bad way for the Star Wars franchise. It's all a matter of how well the writing is going to be and how it's going to be executed on the big screen. Now, what's really intriguing is that these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of Rey inside of the Crystal Cave, where it's described that Rey is going through her backpack that is full of Luke's belongings from Ahch 2 that Rey took with her. It's described that one of the relics that Luke owned and kept a big secret from anybody else was an artifact that once belonged to Darth Sidious slash Emperor Palpatine. It said that Rey comes across an object called the Codex, a object that Sidious once owned and kept inside one of his vaults in the Outer Rim, that Luke eventually discovered during one of his missions with Lor Santeca. It said that the Codex device resembles a small pyramid that consists of a metallic surface. The relic is said to locate and quantify the Force itself and allows to enhance the Force sensi sensitivity of a Force user. It's described that as Rey touches the device that her force sensitivity magnifies to the point where Kylo is said to feel a spike in Rey's power from across the galaxy. It's implied that Palpatine used the Codex before his death to keep himself alive from the dark side energy that was making him frail in his older years. So let's go over a couple of parts about this because as much as I love Sith lore that surrounds kyber crystals, lightsabers, holocrons, and stuff around those lines, this is something else completely taken directly from Legends material called the Codex. Now this one in particular is said to be in the shape of a pyramid that is very very, you know, I guess you could say much made of glass or whatever the material really is, but it's said to have metallic structure that goes around it. Now, this codex device is actually said to quantify the force and allow a force sensitive to become more sensitive to their own power. Now, this is the moment in which Rey comes across this big secret by Luke Skywalker about Darth Sidious and that Luke discovered this during his time in between the events of the originals and the sequels during one of his missions to the Outer Rim, where himself and Lor Santeca discovered this within one of Palpatine's vaults in the Outer Rim. So we got a little glimpse of Luke Skywalker's life in his missions of discovering lore, such as both Jedi and Sith lore, when he went into Palpatine's vault on the planet of Pilio in the Battlefront 2 campaign. That was just a little taste, a tip of the iceberg of what Luke Skywalker went through all those years in between the events of Episode 6 and Episode 7. Now, after all, we do know that in canon, there are thousands of missions that R2-D2 has logged with Luke Skywalker, and this is just one of them. So this Codex device that Rey comes across, that Luke kept the big secret on Ahch 2, she comes across it during the events of The Last Jedi, she takes it for herself, and now it's going to be explored in Episode 9. So this thing is said to quantify the Force and is able to make a Force sensitive more sensitive to the Force itself, making her more powerful to the point where Kylo Ren feels feels her presence spike throughout the entire galaxy. Very intriguing, I gotta say, because this, this did in fact happen in Legends as well where Jason Solo got his hands on the Codex as well as Luke Skywalker. Now, in Legends, I don't know if you guys are knowledgeable on that, but in Legends, Luke Skywalker came across the Codex at one point in time where he touched it, and even the Lost Tribe of the Sith felt his presence. That's how powerful it really was. So, what's really great about this is that this is yet another attempt by J.J. Abrams to introduce new types of lore that fans have never been introduced to on the big screen. Holocrons, you know, they're lightly and slowly making their way into the Star Wars movies, beginning with Solo, A Star Wars Story, in Dryden Voss's den, we actually saw it in the background, and now we're going to see the Codex on the big screen. It's like this device in the shape of a pyramid made out of, made out of like metal, where it does make one 
one Force-sensitive individual stronger through the ways of the Force. Now, it's implied that Palpatine used this as a way in order to keep himself alive or to slow the aging process from using that dark side energy of his that was making him frail during the events of Return of the Jedi. So you can really see how J.J. is trying to connect all these movies together and is really trying his very best in order to really dive deep into the Sith lore and really making it known to the mainstream and to the casual viewers that go ahead and see this movie come December of 2019 this year. So I cannot wait to see exactly how this is all going to roll out onto the big screen, how Rey is going to use the codex on film, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.